Every month for the past several years, I've ordered a double dose of hormones and testosterone blockers. I save all the extra pills for my best friends, my closest lovers, and my worst enemies. So yeah, I know it's illegal, duh. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, before we move forward, I just want to do a little disclaimer here. This is my opinion based on this person, Eli Ehrlich, posting things. So I'm doing my opinion on what they posted as well as allegations towards this person. Okay, I'm not making any um, diagnosis. I'm not claiming that everything is true except for the things Eli has said. Now, moving forward, thanks for liking, subscribing. This person has been completely platformed lately on Piers Morgan, and I, I just can't stand it anymore. I have to say something. The things they said are so disingenuous. I don't know how this person who has done the most insane things in this community is actually being platformed on major. We need to stop this person, okay? Because this person should be nowhere near, let alone children or young trans kids, let alone in the media. So I hope somebody in the media sees this. That being said, I'm going to show you this first clip, okay? And then we're going to get into the Piers Morgan thing. But I want to show you this first clip, okay? Because this is really going to set the tone of what this person truly is. Every month for the past several years, I've ordered a double dose of hormones and testosterone blockers. I save all the extra pills for my best friends, my closest lovers, and my worst enemies. I just hope these little pills can bring some joy into their lives. I have the opportunity to give life-saving medication to people who need it. And it basically costs me nothing. A few months ago, I posted on Instagram asking for testosterone for a friend who actually already had a prescription. His doctor was out of town and he couldn't get a new one. Within hours, my story was taken down and I received a warning by the administrators. Now, of course, I know it's against Instagram rules to share substances and I wasn't particularly surprised that it was removed. But I was still upset. So yeah, I know it's illegal, duh. So was changing my social security to female without medical treatment. So was crossing the street outside my apartment instead of using the crosswalk. <sighs> Can you even believe that that person is platformed out there? Admittedly, admittedly, that I don't care what anybody says, whether it's illegal or not, but we all know it totally is. But in this climate, who knows anymore? But the fact that this person, Eli, just really smugly says, I give this stuff away to people. You saw my last video of these trans mask guys suffering from kidney failure. That's just that. That's just not even touching on what's really going on there. I don't have a clue what's going on with male to female, but I'll guarantee you some gnarly stuff is going on there too. And this person is admittedly doing that. How are you, the media, platforming this person? This person needs to be shut down. They are not advocating for a healthy transition. Okay, when I show you this next, now I'm not the only one who's out of Blair. They, she went, they, who, whatever this person is, went after Blair. Like, what? What? If you were really solid in what you put out there, you would not be doing that. Okay, as a, as a trans activist, you're going to have to deal with people coming at you. That's just the way it is. Eli goes after the young, vulnerable people because that's the only people that will listen to them because they're, what they're saying is completely insane. Not only am, am I going after this person, but people have already been going after this person for a long time. You are not even going to believe what I'm about to show you. So this is Brett Cooper, and Brett Cooper did something a year ago on this person, okay? Eli. And so uh, you're, this is the rest of that first video I showed you. So I wanted to show it to you with Brett so I can show you how other people have been talking about this insanity. Listen to this. Shit, be careful, but don't let the law dictate your morality. Trans people face insurmountable mistreatment in healthcare. Maybe we don't want to go to a doctor. Maybe we don't have access to one geographically. Maybe we can't afford one. Maybe our parents don't want us to get care. There are so many reasons why we should be able to- Did you hear- what this person just said. Maybe we don't want to go to a doctor. Maybe we don't have to go to a doctor. Maybe our parents don't want us to go to a doctor. What? You are actually telling young people to do irreversible things to their body. How is this happening? This Eli is a psycho. 
a complete psycho. Offer hormones through an informed consent model, perhaps even not involving doctors or therapists. Not involving doctors or therapists. Bam. These are the people who are pushing that informed consent model. These are the people who are pushing trans kids or kids. These are people who don't even have kids. She's, he, whatever it is, doesn't even understand. Well, I bet they do understand. They're a sociopath, okay? In my opinion, sociopathic behavior. What is happening, community? The fact that you, as a community, would put this person on a pedestal and, and think that they're, they're doing damage long term. This is why, okay, I'm going to be honest with all of you out right. This is why things are changing in this country, okay? I've been transitioned 32 years before this person was even born. We were literally going up. People were getting us. They were understanding. We were creating health care. And then people like this disingenuous weirdos come along and think they can just hand out hormones like candy. You watch the damage. You watch the damage people like this are going to do to this community. It's already happening. Detransitioners, kidney disease, atrophy, all kinds of stuff. Because this person thinks that we don't need mental health care. It is so upsetting on so many levels. So then Matt Walsh does a whole thing on this person too. Watch this. I'll just do a minute of this one. Well, I wanted to leave a little extra time for this today. Um, important issue, slightly more important than the, uh, the walrus, if anything could be. Back in May, uh, a trans activist and influencer by the name of Eli Ehrlich announced a felony conspiracy on Instagram. Ehrlich excitedly told 40,000 plus followers about a brilliant plan to circumvent state laws banning doctors from prescribing hormones to gender-confused minors. Ehrlich's genius scheme, which was laid out in strenuous detail and remained published on Instagram for nearly three months before libs of TikTok finally noticed it and reposted it to Twitter, the scheme was to gather leftover prescription hormone pills and mail them to anyone who wants them. What? Oh my God. Literally, this is the ego Eli has, okay? And the ego keeps growing because e Eli is still out there walking around, being platformed on peers, on Dr. Phil, on all these things as the uh, authority on trans health care. What? This person is advocating for no mental health care, advocating for self-ID. I know who I am. Yeah, sure you do. Sure you do, friend. Oh, you are so not a friend. I'm just trying to be nice here. So it's just gross and disgusting. So then this person, Eli, goes on to the Piers Morgan show. How is that possible? And this, and says this, this, it's so embarrassing beyond belief. Ooh, even looking at the person, bleh. Okay. How do you feel, given that trans people want fairness and equality, how do you feel about the issue of trans athletes in, in women's sport, given that it's so obviously to me and many other people, unfair and unequal. Oh, here we go. Well, let's leave it to the experts. The different associations have agreed on different standards for different sports. It's all very relative. A recent study actually- Okay, uh, Eli, first off, let's leave it to the experts. Shut up. I bet you've never even played sports in your life. So why don't you just say nothing, number one. Number two, what study? Show me the study. You're just blah, blah, blah. It's not true. Biology. My, f I can't even say it. Biology. Okay. Guess what? Trans women are biological males. Deal with it. You are a biological male. You didn't change your sex. I don't care how many hormones you put in your body. You're still biological male. I am still biological female. Okay. But no way in heck. Can a transgender woman compete with actual biological women? And it is fair. So why don't you shut up and leave it to the actual experts, with, which, by the way, have banned all trans women from competing in women's sports, because that's a fact. Then Eli goes on to say this, which is so 
think about this. Watch this. Watch. This is so great. I love this. Well, trans not, athlete. not necessarily. Estrogen. Look, Go. estrogen absolutely wreaks havoc on our havoc on our uh, muscular systems, on our ability to perform in sports, and there's a reason that the rules are so strict because it. Okay, does- there. Just there. You go. Eli said it. Estrogen wreaks havoc on the system. Okay, not just the muscular system. You think it's just going to target muscles? So if it's wreaking havoc on the muscle. On the muscular system, it is also wreaking havoc on the system. You are a bad person who needs to be stopped. Because wait till you see the next thing I found. This is so disturbing beyond belief. Trans activist accused of SA offering hormones to youth. Not only is this person giving away hormones for free to young people, but they have also been accused of SA. And you know what's so interesting? I found, I found the actual accusation that somebody made about this person. It was taken off the internet, but I found it. And I'm going to post the link to all of this in the description of the video so you can read for yourself, okay? At the age of 16, Ehrlich established TSER, Trans Student Educational Resources, scary, in 2011, alongside another trans-identified teenager. Ehrlich activism gave him, I'm reading the article, access to trans-identified teenage girls, and several have since come forward with allegations of Ehrlich them. Accusations. One- so do we leave do we believe victims or do we not believe victims? One such victim described in a lengthy Tumblr post, which I found, how she allegedly entered an emotionally and sexually abusive relationship with trans student educational researchers co-founder Eli Ehrlich when she began volunteering. In the post, she stated that she was preyed upon by Ehrlich beginning from the start of 2013 school year and that Ehrlich used social capital and authority to his advantage. (sighs) As a vulnerable new member of the trans community, she felt pressured to give in to Ehrlich's relentless sexual harassment, which she said caused her to have regular panic attacks. I'm reading this. From somebody who wrote it. I'm not making this up. Nor am I making accusations. I am reading something somebody posted. Which weird was just removed from the internet. I'm sure there are more. But who knows. This is disgusting. This is why this person needs to be deplatformed people. Community. Do you know who who you're supporting? I am clearly not the only one who is talking about these accusations and Eli just blatantly talking about giving away hormones and telling young people that they don't need mental health, that you know who you are, that we will give you hormones if you need them. No, no, I'm, I'm telling you, no, this is the death. This person thinks that people like me or people like Blair or people like Marcus are bad for this community. That's what I want you to see. I care about this community and I only want to see us go forward. And I only want to see a solid foundation for health care, which includes mental health care. And in no way, shape or form should you ever under the age of 18, be ever be able to do things behind your parents' back or go to something without understanding the long-term effects. I have no doubt in my mind that Eli Ehrlich will pay for this in the long run. However that is, they will pay for this because there's something dark, deep and dark going on here. And we are, as a community, letting this happen.
Thanks for watching. I always appreciate you so much. This stuff is so insane. I just, we got to start really pushing back on these people. They are not healthy for our community. They are not healthy for our youth. Starting organizations and doing creepy stuff like that to people and then pushing it under the rug and then acting as if giving hormones away for free to kids with no mental health care and you know who you are. And maybe I don't want to go to a doctor. Maybe you should go to a doctor. See you guys all on the next one. Thank you so, so much. I'll see you guys Wednesday for the lives. I appreciate you so much. Have a beautiful rest of your day.